everybody and welcome back to my channel so this week i'm bringing you just a perm rod set um it's gonna be a little bigger than the other perm rods this is the tangerine colored rods that i'm using um and i think that size is pretty good for what i'm going for um so here i am you know i always start out with my freshly shampoo conditioned hair um i'm still using the shea moisture to make black casserole lime so here i am using that deep leave-in conditioner from that product line and I did put some oil, some regrowth oil on my scalp. I like to put an oil on when I do my wash day just to make sure my scalp is not dry. Um, and here's Chloe. I had to show Chloe because she is having a bad headache. But anyway, she was scratching on my legs. So, so I had to show her some attention so I can get my video done. So um, we're going to put her down and get back into this video. Um, so you know I always like to start out with my hair section. It's just easier for me. It's my routine and just like anything else if you stay consistent in your routine you should get better and get faster so I always start out section my hair um, and these clips that I use you've seen them before I love these clips they don't cause any strain or breakage on my hair so um, those are great clips to purchase and I usually start with my hair in the neck area so here you'll see me um, with I just put some of the lot of body setting spray in my little a water bottle because that helped me get my curls to um, hold with that um, a lot of body setting spray so here I am section in my subsection and let's go ahead and start rolling so I just once I get my hair detangled um, I always like to detangle my hair really really well before doing any style here I am just literally wrapping my hair around the roller nothing special i always start with my rollers with that little rubber band the clip part of it facing downward so once i get my hair wrapped around the roller and down to the scalp area then i take the clip up to the top and clip it that's easy for me um plus i know when i take it down it's super easy to just unclip it and unwrap my hair from around the roller so here i am just literally laying my hair on the scalp and then wrapping the hair I mean, I'm laying the roller up against my scalp and then just wrapping my hair around it. I'm um, not taking much time on the parts. I'm really parting with my fingers. The parts don't really matter to me. The only thing that really matters to me is that I get a good curl definition and that my style is really dry. In order to accomplish this style, you need to do um, medium sections. I would not do super large sections. You don't want to put too much hair on the roller so where it does not, it's not able to dry. Um, to get great definition with perm rod sets and stuff, roller sets, you really need to make sure your hair dries. So I slip in my style just because I didn't want to get under dryer. So um, you could get under dryer. If I would have got under dryer, I would have been under dryer probably an hour and a half, two hours. So I just slept in it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this video and I will come back to you all what I have. It's gonna be the next morning because I'm gonna sleep in mine. So I'll see you all in the next clip. Okay, you need to get done, 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 done at work. Come over. We just need to slow the motion. Don't get out of the way to know what all this is. I need to. I see potential, I just gotta sit through. Three way swing, I'm still choosing to turn up. Empire, Empire, Empire. 
Okay, so here I am. This is actually the next day. Um, my hair is completely dry. It took about, I would say I let my hair start just for about 10 hours. Um, just because I had nowhere to go or anything. So it wasn't an inconvenience of any sort. And with the way I had tied my hair down um, with my little satin wrap, it was not uncomfortable for me to sleep. So um, you just saw me put some more oil on my hair, the rebirth oil on my scalp and stuff. Just because I want to make sure my scalp does not dry out. Um, and I put some on my curls just to make them shine and help with the frizz when I take this down. So I'm going to section my hair off again using those clips and starting the back just so that I make sure I get to um, separate all of them and don't leave any of them unseparated. So um, I will speed through this process also and I hope you all like this style. I hope you like this video. Um, this style was uh, pretty easy to accomplish. As long as you make sure your hair is really saturated when doing this process make sure your ends are really saturated to help them stay around the curler and make sure your hair dries you should get a great result good turnout um if you have any questions please comment below i hope this is helpful and i want to thank you all for tuning into another video and we'll go ahead i'm gonna show you my finished look and how i fluffed my hair out how i picked it a little bit and um, just made it a little more a little more bigger a little more volume and <clears throat> I will see you all next week. Next week, I think I'm going to do a crochet style. So, look forward to that, you guys. Um, and thanks again. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I plan to do a giveaway soon. So, um, thank you all. And I'll see you next week.